So application security and where it is in terms of maturity in the market today is again a moving feast. Now application security is actually a very new concept in the grand scheme of things. So if you took a comparison with uh, the health and safety regulations that are in place within the construction industry, it's only 20 years or so ago when organisations had the challenge where they said there should be zero accidents or incidents on site. And all of the health and safety teams kicked off at that point to say this wasn't feasible and it was an unrealistic challenge. Why would anyone ever be able to achieve that? If you look today in the world, because boards have taken on the responsibility for ensuring that people are kept safe and all lives are very important in terms of the construction industry, that has actually now been embedded really well. So it's become a target. And whilst it's not always achieved, clearly, uh, having that target in place means that the processes and the rigor and regime around health and safety are established in all businesses that you'll be familiar with. Now, application security and security in general is not quite there yet, but the uh, evolution of the maturity of, of that piece in the last 10 years has come a long way. And the reason for that is that the market has changed significantly. Initially, organizations were concerned around breaches of data and information and therefore reputational rep um, issues that would come from there. But now things have changed. In the world where we've now got autonomous driving in place, medical devices that are being used remotely, lives are now actually in danger uh, as a result of potential breaches. Just imagine the context if an automated uh, driving vehicle now read a 30 mile an hour or 30 kilometer an hour sign as a 60 kilometer an hour sign. What would the impact be to, and the dangers to our public society? So therefore, maturity has really had to start to improve and kickstart it into that same level that I talked around, around the health and safety executives that we've seen before. Application security testing is a really important factor in preventing security threats. As most of you are aware, applications are a fundamental part of all organizations today. And therefore, security threats are constantly targeted either through the supply chain of how an application is developed in the first place, or indeed at various other angles into applications themselves. With regards to the supply chain, uh, it's commonly known that applications are built from a number of items, just like any other physical supply chain. So there are third parties that are involved, things that are called open source, which means that there's readily available made code that has been created by other parties and somewhat untested in some situations. There are various integrated pipelines that bring all of that software development together. And inherently, therefore, there are lots of angles of attack for how applications can be breached. Now, in order to prevent that, security testing is essential, and more importantly, to do that as early in the life cycle as possible. We all know it costs six times as much to remediate something if you find something after the event than before the event. So it's absolutely essential that application security testing is conducted in an early manner through the development life cycle. So some of the best practices that organizations can undertake um, really start with understanding where you are in the first place. So undertaking some form of benchmarking is absolutely essential because if you don't know where you are today, it's very difficult to determine how much effort you need to put in to get to where you need to be. Now, that's part one. Once you've benchmarked, you can then assess and look at all of the different facets, whether it's involved with implementing the appropriate tooling, implementing the appropriate people and skills, and more importantly, processes that underpin that in creating a culture of security within your business. So older legacy software brings with it a number of challenges to most organizations. Uh, there's a term in industry that we call technical debt, and that is where a number of issues are built up over a period of time that remain unresolved. And the longer an application has been around, or a longer a system has been around, quite often the longer and deeper the technical debt has been building up within that particular application. That in itself can cause some problems. Coupled with uh, changing demand in skill sets means that the generations of today don't necessarily carry the same skill sets of the generations of the past. So in legacy systems, some that have been around for 20, 30 or more years, it can become a challenge to remediate those issues and they're often left untouched. We're often asked how software risk equates to business risk within organisations. Now, all organisations fundamentally either rely on software to run each day or indeed they're developing software as part of their product set. And therefore, any problems you have with software is inherently a business issue, and therefore software risk really does equate to business risk. Some of the things that we are doing to work with organizations to help them mitigate some of that business risk is to work with them to understand how their software supply chain is actually constructed. 
Now, a big theme at the moment are the issues around supply chain. And one of the key things to do is to understand the origins of your software. Actually having an inventory of your software at the same time, sometimes known as a software bill of materials, is absolutely essential that when a vulnerability is found, it makes it so easy to address once you know where things have come from and where they are within your organization.